Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the latest Natalie Portman film, Lucy in the Sky. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at Movie Guy 365 as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I will leave a link for that in the description. All right, Lucy in the Sky. This is definitely one of those movies. Uh, I really didn't know too much about it. What got me really honestly into the theater was I saw a quick trailer, which really was very ambiguous. It didn't tell you a lot about the plot, which I appreciate. Uh, Natalie Portman, like her work, everything from, you know, or even from Thor to Leon, the professional, to Annihilation. I mean, she has a good body of work. I'm very confident when I see a movie of hers. And also it was directed by Noah Hawley, who we know is a writing credit over out on Fargo and Legion. So he's got, we got some resumes here and it's, it's, it's uh, usually a mixture for success. So I'm gonna give you the overall just plot of the movie. So Lucy has been to space. She's an astronaut. She, the movie starts with her in over orbit, just admiring the beauty of the world kind of having like an existential moment. And as, as soon as she comes back to Earth, you know, they're trying to you know, put her through the, the exercises of trying to like recovery from coming back to Earth and that sort of thing. And it's just like her mental state seems to be, you know, acute. And it's just, you know, it that in itself is a good jumping off point. And I feel that's one of the inherent issues with this movie. So basically, it just completely derails. It's really, there's a lot wrong with this film. I would say the first half is, is more or less strong. Now, the entire movie consists of shifting aspect ratios. I don't know what the director was intending, because you feel like if you want cool, intimate moments, then you zoom in on the character. I can understand that. And, it, and, and wider shots, it, it seems to also you know have that kind of feeling to it. But it, there's a lot of shots in this movie that the aspect ratios just aren't consistent with what came before. So it's kind of a creatively a mixed bag in that in the filmmaking process. But the story-wise, it's just bizarre. Now I know they say it's inspired off true events, but that doesn't make it any less just bad, like as far as the movie goes. And I really, you know, it's it's it. it I don't know. It, it, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. She has this existential moments, especially at the beginning of the film. And then it just kind of devolves into like she, you know, this isn't really spoilers. It's not that kind of movie, but it, it's you're making your 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 protagonist very unsympathetic and unlikable. Not so much at uh, the fault of Natalie Portman, though. I have to question whether she can really maintain a uh, southern accent, and it seems to disappear randomly. But just the fact that your astronaut who has this world changing experience, you know, what she decides to do with it, cheat on her husband, and. Yeah, that's, that's more or less what's going on there. And it just kind of turns into like a Lifetime movie at the back half. It's very bad. Like, honestly, it is probably one of the worst movies I've seen this year. You know, I like to try to find good in everything. And while this does have, I feel, a stronger first half, and I was expecting, you know, with the performances and the actors involved, I was expecting more. And then it just completely goes off the rails. And apparently, they don't even include the best part of the whole true story aspect, which is... Her, I guess, running around in a diaper at some point. I don't know. It's a, a thing. I, you look it up online. Lucy in the Sky diaper. You'll get all your answers. But it's, I don't know. It's just not a very well-made movie. It doesn't have a message. It doesn't It doesn't try to expand upon her, her what she experienced in space. Instead, it's just her kind of almost falling into madness. And it's just not a good. I mean, the ending is complete gibberish. It just, it really has nothing to say. The whole movie is just kind of a waste of time. For two hours, it felt like three, and it that that is not a good thing. I, but I did feel that some of the actors did a good job. I like John Hamm pretty much in everything, though I'm a little afraid of him getting even more so typecast as that guy, you know, the Don Draper type. And he seems to like continue that trend here. Natalie Portman, I think she did good with what she had. I don't know if there was some creative thing going on, but it you know it's just at the end of the day, like she's she's supposed to have all these responsibilities and just kind of chucks them away and. You know, tries to hide behind. There, I even, I even thought I subtly sensed a, oh, we're blaming, we're blaming men for me being emotional moment. There is a scene there, and it's just kind of like it's all over the place. It, 
I, I don't know, I, I kind of want to look into the real story of it more, but at this point I'm just not interested. It's just, it was just, it falters on so many levels. It's not a fun movie. I didn't, they were literally playing an opera next door at the theater next to me. I almost went over to that because it was that horrible. I would rather sit in a three and a half hour opera than watch this movie again. It was bad. I'm going to give this one a three and a half out of ten, only because I feel that the first 45 minutes are somewhat a more coherent movie. It actually has something to say at some points, but then it just goes off in a complete and utter lifetime movie territory, and it's not good at all. So I don't recommend this one, unfortunately. I, I wish the, the talent had, had better use of the film, but it's just at the end of the day, it didn't work. So let me know in the comments below if you braved theaters enough to see Lucy in the Skies and what your thoughts were. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.